Craniosacral refers to the membrane system that surrounds the central nervous system and connects the cranium to the sacrum. The craniosacral membranes and fluid act as a cushioned housing for the central nervous system. It also has structures that extract, manage, and return cerebrospinal fluid to the blood. Bones provide a more robust housing for the central nervous system outside of the membranes. First, let's talk about the membranes. The meninges of the craniosacral system comprise a triple-layered membrane system that surrounds, supports, and protects the neural tissue of the central nervous system. It's located between the bones and the central nervous system tissue. The dura mater forms a tough, fibrous outer layer against the bone. The arachnoid is a porous, spongy membrane that adheres to that tough outside layer. The pia mater is a single-celled layer that paves the surface of the central nervous system. Cerebrospinal fluid flows between the arachnoid and the pia mater. The cranial bones around the brain form the vault. The meninges line the vault and form partitions dividing the vault into upper, lower, left, and right sections. The partitions are called reciprocal tension membranes as they support the architecture of the vault. This is a cross-section of where the reciprocal tension membranes meet the vault. Here, the meninges form channels called venous sinuses. They create firm, open shoots for the return of blood. As the membranes exit the cranium, they form a tube that surrounds the spinal cord. This structure is called the dural tube, core link, or thecal sac. They attach firmly to the second and third vertebra and the second segment of the sacrum and to the coccyx. Next, let's talk about fluid management. Ventricles are balloon-like structures at the center of the brain. They lift the brain so that it floats above the floor of the cranium. Ventricles also filter cerebrospinal fluid from the blood and leak it into the space between the arachnoid and pia mater. The arachnoid villi, or arachnoid granulations, are projections into the venous sinus. They serve as valves that return cerebrospinal fluid to the bloodstream through the venous sinuses. Cranial bones are thinner and more flexible than most people realize. This allows them to flex as fluid pressure shifts, much like your ribs flex as you breathe. As you can see from this actual cranium, they're thin enough to be translucent in places. Sutures and craniosacral membranes help balance this shifting architecture. For more information on craniosacral anatomy, physiology, approaches, patterns, and techniques, please visit integrativeworks.com.